This right here is my friend Fernando Lopez. And uh, so people watch uh, Francis Ngannou, he's smashing people. Don't you kind of think, how did that happen? Like once upon a time, he didn't know how to fight, <laughs> right? He was a guy who like nine years ago didn't fight. Yeah. And now he's one of the best heavyweights in the world and in one of the biggest fights going at heavyweight. Definitely. But I think it's about the DNA. I think it's about the legacy, what, he, what he's born with. I, I, I'm his head coach, but I don't think I'm a magician. I don't think that I can turn someone who is not a, a champ to a champ. I think I can give the environment that the guy can feel comfortable. <laughs> oh, no, don't worry. So if that thing, uh, just keep running that. Don't worry, buddy. Uh, is it still rolling, Mark? So what you're seeing right now is uh, Eddie Alvarez's family. So it, so that was, uh, that was an Alvarez right there. That was an Alvarez. <laughs> And they're all like that. There's a lot of them. <laughs> it's crazy. But uh, uh, so we were chatting. I don't know if that got edited or went flying or whatever, but whatever it was, I'm, I'm chatting with Fernand Lopez, who uh, works with Francis Ngannou. And you were talking about the difference. You don't think you can make me into the heavyweight champion of the world, uh, yeah. but you can make take him because of what he was born with. That's what you believe? Definitely. Yeah. That, that's, that's what I believe. I don't really think that a man as a coach has been uh, I mean no matter how good you are you can just turn a guy a random guy and bring him to the high level like this I think we coach uh, we can put uh, a condition around the guy to make him evolve and and make him improve because you you will give him the, the, the best advice you will give him the, the, the the best, teach him the best thing you can, but he have to get something. He have to bond with something, it, with, uh, with a, a champion DNA, with a mm -hmm. something that make him special, and then you can make that explode. So uh, you came up to, uh, we spoke at um, at the media day, yeah, and uh, I f found you very interesting right away to talk to you as a high level coach, and but on some level. What you're saying is not necessarily agreed by everybody. There are people who do not think it's genetic, that, that, the gr that greatness can be achieved by anyone. But you don't believe that. I don't really believe that. I think at some point, uh, I mean, if, if, if you have a, this, if you have a guy with a very good motivation, with that crazy motivation, and you want this, and he, he cannot have, the ability, like you don't have the the speed required, you don't have the stamina required, mm -hmm. you don't have the strength required, you don't have the base of that. I, I don't mean that. I mean you can not we can, have. We it. can grow all those. Yeah, you stuff. can, but you have at least the the basis, like the, mm -hmm. the start of something. If you don't have that, then you can, because even the mentality, you have those people that... Some of that is genetic too. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Right. You have those people that come to interview and they said, I was one of them mm -hmm. when I was fired up, saying to people, well, I, I, I think this weekend, I, I, I'm in my best of shape, my, the best shape I can have, mm. and uh, I will give the best I can to win this fight. Yeah, um, my, my, my opponent is, is strong, and I will see what happens tomorrow. Mm -hmm. No, this is not this champion not mentality. Yeah. You know, this is not good enough. At some point, you will have those guys, they need to be a little bit with more ego than that. Like mm -hmm. saying, no, I'm the one, I'm the yeah. best. And, you, I'm, and I'm, it has to be real. Yeah, yeah, they really think, I mean, I mean, they have to think it very hardly. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do this. I'm the best. I mean, uh, I, and then the, at some point, the dream and the, 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 the thought will cross the road of the reality at some point. Yeah. You know, and reality is fucking reality yeah. regardless of what you believe. Yeah, yeah and this is the, these are the types of things that uh, fascinate me about greatness, mm. you know? Um, I think, so as a, do you have children? Yeah, I so have the two daughters. I, I do not yet, but, um, but whether you're as a father or a coach, I think on some level, telling people that they are able to achieve anything will let them achieve their maximum. But that may not be enough to be the world champion, right? Believing Wonderful. that you can do anything will get you as far as you can go. And that's where the reality Absolutely. hits. That 100%. is 100%. Yeah. Like, um, yeah, I don't want 
uh, people to misunderstand that, yeah, we have to keep giving hope to people and telling people how great they yeah. are and how, yeah. I mean, you they can do anything that they mm -hmm. dream, you know, yeah. and then they will go to the max they can. That they are at capable. Least, yeah, yeah, the, at least their max, their, their own max, you know. But what I'm saying about Francis is that I've been seeing people in my gym. Yeah. I have one of the biggest and famous gym in Europe. So I've been seeing people coming yeah. to me. I'm from Africa, I'm from Cameroon yep. also. And I've been seeing beasts coming in my gym. Yep. I mean, totally beasts. Big or strong yeah, or fast. Yeah, or... yeah. and uh, the, the thing that fascinated me on Francis was that ability to adapt. Mm -hmm. Okay, how to go to a mistake in the, in the same round of fight and and change and, and just adapt to do not do the yeah. same mistake one minute later. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Repair his his errors and his how he's seeing or experiencing yeah. it uh, in real time. From in the, combat. Yeah, from the very first training session. Like from the I mean the guy was brawling. He didn't know I'm he was just, throwing punches. You know, uh, yeah. Very wide yeah. punches, you know, yeah. against Christian Pumbu, who is yes. uh, light heavyweight, former light heavyweight uh, champion in the Benator. And uh, but I was watching this, and I was like, oh, this is this this is. I mean, did he just avoid this? Did he just avoid this yeah. trap? I mean, yeah. yeah. And I was like, okay, let me check again. And he was adapting. Yeah. In in the real time. Something is happening, and there's a hole. He's closing yeah. them and repairing them, and you're visually seeing him become a better fighter yeah. in round one. Yeah, yeah. 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 I don't oh. know how to call that in in English. I'm I'm not so yeah. good. And in French, Adaptation. we said we said. Um, uh, bio, le système bioinformationnel, which is system bioinformationnel, bio uh, which is yeah. the, the 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 process. I mean, the, the thing in your brain who make you process the information, mm -hmm. but which is bio, which is mm -hmm. in your body. Yeah, and and that process, yeah. that, that that thing is. Francis brain can yeah. go very fast. Yeah. I mean, how to take information and adapt yeah. quickly, yeah. quickly. It's it's like a kinetic adaptation, like mm -hmm. a yeah, it, a fascinating. Yeah. And were you like? Was it like seeing a unicorn or something? Like, what? Like, were you shot? Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Like, uh, I mean, it's like if I was saying this now without having any footage to back up what I'm yeah. saying, people they would say, "I'm just following yeah. the hype." Mm -hmm. But to be honest with you, since the day one, there was um, that French TV, national TV mm -hmm. at gym randomly, and there was having footage. And at that point, I said to the guy, "This guy will be." A, world champion. This guy, yeah. if he keep training, he will be a UFC yeah. world champion. I, I just basis of yeah. the, the, the how quick he was adapting to yeah. things who happened to him. Yeah. Like that was just crazy how he was doing that. Amazing. Uh, it, so the most tragic thing in the world would have been if you found out that he doesn't have a work ethic and he's not driven and he's not focused. Mm -hmm. You'd see that he's physically capable of these things and then he wouldn't have the the head to do it. Mm -hmm. Then uh, how quickly did you see that, oh my God, he also works really hard and all of these other things? Um, I didn't find that right away because he was focused on boxing. Mm -hmm. So to be honest, he was playing me. Because he he's that smart. Yeah, he was using the gym to get ready for the boxing. I didn't really think that, I didn't plan to have something in the MMA. And I was like, okay, I know that he's playing me, but yeah. it's okay. It's, yeah. Let's play. Let's play with him. I yeah. will, my, my task was to give him, <coughs> to make him like the MMA, to make yeah. him see how easy could be for him with the ability that he have to get in the top of the MMA while if he's going to the boxing that will take a long time in the mm -hmm. process just talking about the paperwork yeah. like to yeah. be professional in boxing mm -hmm. in France you have to have you have to have did uh, like 10 amateur yeah. fighting and he was yeah. ready and want yeah. to go right away to the pro fighting so I was struggling to have that lessons for him so uh, I, so I was keeping pushing me like, okay, look, this is our deal. You keep training in wrestling and and uh, grand game. You keep focus to have the blue, the level of blue belt in, in, in jiu-jitsu. Jiu 
and then I will keep working for you for the boxing. I'm you play, you played him back. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I, I'm pushing for you to the boxing, yeah. and you yeah. push for me, yeah. and you show me that yeah. you're you're every day in the yeah. training with the jiu jitsu, yeah. with them, because obviously. Yeah. Boxing training was yeah. there, but yeah. no problem. Yeah. I wanted him to yeah. make sure that he was going yeah. at least to the yeah. wrestling defense and then uh, jiu-jitsu. Did he uh, learn as quickly and adapt as quickly in that too? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. This is, I mean... This is just how he learns. If he wanted to be a jazz piano player in, or wanted to be a race car driver or anything else... He, that ability to learn, he could apply there. He just happens to love fighting. Well, I don't know if that could apply in the music, but what I know is that the thing that he, he focus on it, like the dance. Yeah. We're talking about yeah. the dance, this guy can do the dance with the star. Yeah. Because he can dance Latin music. I, he really, I mean, you should see him dance. Really? Uh, what yeah. I mean, really? He really wow. dance like yeah. Latin music. Shit. This huge guy can like yeah. dance, move around. So, what I'm saying is that. The, the ability to adapt in any other sport was just impressive. Like, I've been one of the, the high trainer in France, like having connection with uh, mm -hmm. almost all the federation yeah. in combat sport. I was working in the wrestling uh, federation, I was going in judo federation, mm -hmm. whatever. And so, I, when I won any sparring in wrestling, I give a call to a friend of mine, please send me the top three of the national team in France. <laughs> yeah. And the guy, the, guy, yeah. the, the guy will come in my gym, like two of them or three of them, and they have to take Francis like five minutes and one minute rest, five minutes and one yeah. minute rest, and Francis will beat them up at yeah. least, defend the takedown. Yeah. Like, he will spend like, okay, 30 minutes, no takedown. Wow. No, no takedown. Wow. Like, at some and, uh, point... They must be shocked, these guys. Absolutely, like... <laughs> I have this guy uh, saying to me, um, he was um, from the, he was coming from Brazil, um, and he, he, he went to me and said to me, look, we did three, three rounds of five minutes. I didn't take him down, but I need one more round. Please give me yeah. one more round because I'm the wrestler. I'm yeah. the one you yeah. should. I need to please. get this need, guy. Yeah. Yeah. Need, let me yeah. take, yeah. let me get to the point that I, until I take him down. Okay. Go again. One more round. And this guy went there, no takedown, and he got taken down because uh, he was tired. Yeah, and Francis was learning and improving in each round. Yeah, like Fuck. to start when he defend the wrestling, he defend well just with the the instant. Right. How to physicality how to just, and yeah. logic. Yeah. Yeah. Biomechanically, how to stand, yeah. how get, to get across how his to, face, oh, drive my hip yeah, out. I feel like I'm yeah. uncomfortable. Yeah. 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 And sometimes that's what I love in the training is that I will not give a frame who is just like you have to do this mm -hmm. i want them to i want to improvise and innovate uh, no I, I want to use the ability of each of us mm -hmm. i mean we we, mm -hmm. we are we're different, different. Yeah. okay we was talking about kinesthetic we are different yeah. so yeah. um when i said to francis i want your hand to be yeah. like this to defend yeah. and he said to me coach i feel comfortable yeah. to push i don't want to pull it's okay, you can yeah. do that. Yeah. As long as you feel like yeah. you're comfortable, yeah. let's, yeah. let's try to let's do that. Let's work with that. And then we go. So, so that's what he's doing. That's what, that's what I love in our Binom. Like, It must be incredible to have an athlete like this. I just love it. I, I mean, I have a bunch of, um, we, we're not that well known in the US, but I have like 70s, a very high level athlete in the gym, mm -hmm. like professional mm -hmm. one. I have, we have 700 member, but 70 guys in the wow. gym. Very good. I mean, yeah. very good prospect, you know. And um, and uh, I'm I'm improving every day as a coach yeah. because when you have this laboratory with all this guy, this factory, my mm -hmm. gym is named MMA Factory. Mm -hmm. Factory, mm -hmm. because then you can then you can learn as a coach. I'm improving every mm -hmm. day because there's thing that I, I I used to do. I was wrestling this this way, and you show me, coach. I feel like I'm more yeah. unbalanced when yeah. I'm doing this. And then I let Now you look at both and, and have compare oh, how their bodies are working. Oh. So yeah. now I went to one move to two move in the defense. Mm. So I can teach to another guy. Yeah. Now you can do this or you can do this. Yeah. And next time I will learn another move. And, and the, the two to counter those two. And that'll be four now on those two. And yeah, it's exciting, oh, eh? Yeah. Yet, 
there's something about this idea of constant growth and improvement that feels very 2017. Maybe it's just because I'm more aware of it, but the idea that you are, you have a guy fighting, about to fight against one of the great fighters of his era, mm -hmm. and then potentially fight for a world title. You have 70 other guys, and you may only be here as to where you can become Absolutely. as a coach. Absolutely. It's shocking, it's yeah. exciting. Yeah, I, I, for me it's exciting. I mean, yeah. I, I'm in my job, Every day, like I was in vacation, everything yeah, is just like very good. So I mean, I, I, f I love this job. Yeah, me too. And so when I get to the gym and I'm, I'm talking with my guy, I'm working with them. It's just like vacation. I mean, if, if I don't have a call from home, like, oh, where are yeah. you? I just, I, I'm just in just the gym. In the, in the moment, yeah. yeah. Uh, you guys watch my analysis of this of the fight coming up and uh do i do, am i on the right page like am i clued into the right am i seeing things correctly absolutely yeah absolutely i i i love it i love it because um there's so many things going on there's two things that are fact mm -hmm. okay this is facts you cannot move that we have someone with very huge experience mm -hmm. very decorated fighter mm -hmm. very decorated striker he you have seen everything, okay? Mm -hmm. He won everything. Name it, he won it. <laughs> and we have this guy very young. Not much time in the cage, yeah. finally. Yeah. Because he's finished everyone in the first yeah. round every time. Yeah. So it's, you know, it's, and, um, and yeah, in the, when you are an analyst, that's what you, you go from there. Mm -hmm. And then you can say, okay, this is pretty easy. Mm -hmm. This guy, both guys can knock each other. And you have a guy that, with the time evolving in the fight, taking Francis deeper, mm -hmm. he will have the advantage on that mm -hmm. line. And then, going from there, you pull out one of two points that was exciting for me. That mm -hmm. was, I'm like you said, the thing is, people, they analyze um, those huge guys talking only about the physical quality, mm -hmm. and they don't talk about the brand quality. Mm -hmm. And you were saying that because you feel like it's not a random league that Francis will stay at the place that he ha is he is when he, he get the counter punch. Mm -hmm. Like we That's are designed. Lost. Okay. Yeah. You feel yeah. like that was something that he pushed the opponent to think this is my head. My, you can you can have yeah. me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So and this is I, I agree with you. Mm -hmm. I, I I really think that. We have game plans. We have uh, I've been taping, watching some tape about uh, over him. I've been working very. I mean, as soon as they give me mm -hmm. the name, I did a great job mm -hmm. of that because yep. uh, you know uh, yep. uh, the guy is very strong. But the most exciting for me is to know that after everything that I've done after war, mm -hmm. when we get in the cage, I have the joker. Mm -hmm. My joker is that this kid can adapt very fast. I mean, he's the master of uh, range. Mm -hmm. What I call range is that he have this ability to have the uh, interdistance between mm -hmm. he yeah. and the opponent. The distance and between this and this and this and this yeah. and the awareness of, the, I, the way I look at it is the relationship between your targets and my weapons and your weapons and, and my, my targets. Uh, me yeah. as a target. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like, he constantly let you think that you are close to touch him, but he's ready to just step back, but not step back yeah. long way, long yeah. distance, because yeah. he know that he's coming back yeah, to, right. to hurt you. So yeah. it will give you the thing that you feel every time. Yeah. People, they see the fight and say, I got oh, him. he almost got him. Yeah. He, uh, but yeah. that will be that, yeah. like this every yeah. time. Like, oh, he almost got him. We're no, close, we're close, no. we're close. Yeah, we, we, were, yeah. we were close, when yeah. we were close. No, 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 no. You, you, do you remember the fight with uh, Connor and Jose Aldo? Yeah. Yeah. The bond, yeah. the the buff hit the same yeah. time. Yeah. They, they, yeah. They got their yeah. target at the same yeah. time. But because of uh Connor being the master of distance, mm -hmm. he knew that at this distance I may get caught, but not mm -hmm. fully with the yeah. full power. Yeah. And he'll drive his own and self he, right yeah, into my and yeah. then at this time yeah. for him to cut me, he will have to 
Yeah. How to commit instead yeah. a little yeah. bit more. Yeah. And this is enough yeah. for me to give yeah. to deliver the the right punch to take him mm -hmm. down. It is such a beautiful game, eh? Yeah, Fighting. I love oh, that. Fuck. I do too. And some of the, my hair was standing up on my arms when you were talking about that. It's like we will do everything, we'll prepare him in every way, but we know in that moment what he's going to be capable of doing. Some things you didn't even, it'll adapt and, oh, yeah, fuck, that's, that's, that's what thing. I love. Because yeah. to be honest with you, every time I'm, I did a paper for all my father, mm -hmm. I will always have that on paper. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, this is the, the strength, this is. The witness, this is what you have to do, this to do you, this is what, and in the end, this is the summary mm -hmm. of everything. And I, I have that line in the bottom of my, of my page saying, All this information that you have is based on the video analysis that I saw. So mm -hmm. you can be surprised because the guy can adapt in the cage. I will be there to help you to yeah. adapt, but you you have to be aware that yeah. this is only, not only analysis. Yeah. And not only might he be different, he will be different. Definitely. Yes. Yes. So, yeah. um, and as a coach, I feel so comfortable to have a weapon like him who can in real time adapt. Because the coaching is what? To coach someone, yeah. I have to be able to give the advice one second before the shot. Right. Saying to my father, you should have moved your chair. You should, you, you, no, yeah. this is too late. <laughs> saying to my father, oh, you should, uh, hands up, hands up. Yeah. This is too late. Yeah. I have to be able to say, look. Anticipate with a knee. In one second, yeah. he may give you a knee because mm -hmm. the position that you have is favorable to a knee yeah. in the body. It's an invitation. So watch, watch out. Yeah. Keep your yeah. elbow yeah. in your body because yeah. you may hear a knee yeah. in, in a few seconds and then bam, the knee comes up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's coaching. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm saying, coaching yeah. someone. Yeah. So when you have that and also you have a fighter capable to recognize those opportunities yeah. and adapt, this is just. He won't even just spot that a knee could come. He will know that because he's there, since a knee will come, he can now land this because That's this guy I'm, thinks yeah. he's going to be able to land a knee on me because it looks like he can, but he won't. I will this, use yeah. that to come uh, to come to him and never, yeah. you know. I yeah, mean, I, on and on and on. Oh, so exciting. Um, thank you so much for chilling and talking with me. Do you think possibly that on Sunday morning you might have time to chat one more time after this all happens so we can revisit this conversation? Absolutely. Let's do it. Thank you, Coach. I really appreciate it. Big fan of your work. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, guys. You. Thank you, man.